Hello and welcome to Steve's Virtual Lofts. Today I'm going to take a look if one of these works with one of these. It should do, right? Let's have a look. Before I uh, take a look at the Spectrum next, let's have a quick look see if it works on my old Spectrums. Um, I did have an issue with one of the micro drives, so I'm just going to have a quick check and see uh, if this one's any good or not. Um, there's a little bit of felt on the uh, micro drive cartridge, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, attempt two. Right, after a bit of fiddling, um, you can hear, possibly, uh, but you can certainly see the light is on and the micro drive is doing something. So I've had a combination of a micro drive that appears to work and a couple of my old cartridges. As I said, I need to refelt most of them. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to find some felt that's reasonably priced and I can get in the UK. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to visit Hobbycraft, Hobbycraft or something like that. So, yeah, obviously this one's not doing a lot. So, uh, we'll wait and see. There you go. Let's say the felt's not too bad on that one. Let's uh, try this one. says quill on it so there's a possibility it might be formatted for uh, the QL I don't have a QL so uh, yeah let's uh, see what this one says do excuse the mess of my desk that's my uh, my temporary cover for my Mac. Right, that one's not doing a lot either. Um, so I think what I might do is I might just format it and see if I can write to it. At least that way then I know I've got a working mic drive of some solution. Join me when I've uh, done some more testing. Right, I've forgotten how to do most of this stuff because it's been a while since I used my drive, but obviously using uh, uh, the format command, which was, I think, a few pages back. Yeah, format command there, as you can see. Um, I've created a small basic program out of the manual, and now I'm going to save it. Right now the uh, program is saved, let's uh, load it back up. As you can see it's nice easy to remember string. Um, not sure why external devices like floppy drives and uh, micro drives are always overly complicated, but there you go, I've had my moan. So yep, yeah, now it's uh, loaded, let's have a list of it and let's see if it works. Okay, ah brilliant, so the program there, we know the micro drive works, because obviously I've nude it and all this does is just creates the square root, a uh, square of uh, each of the numbers, you yeah. know, not a, a vast program by any stretch of imagination, but there you go. So, next up, next up, I suppose, will it work for next? It should do, I'm told it will, because the next is a hardware recreation. Right, so power the Spectrum uh, next up, see what it does. Now, it didn't seem to make the uh, Telltale little noise when you actually start the machine up, because there was uh, almost like a reset command or something that uh, makes this drive spin a little bit. So go to more, go to 48k basic, and if I just type run, nothing, okay. So I'm guessing the the ROM possibly isn't loaded, oops. So try again. Must be having a next keyboard is so much easier, or having a, any type of plus keyboard is so much easier to uh, to use. Yeah, it's, it's not recognising the command. So, obviously out of the box, you need to do something else. So, uh, let me have a fiddle through it, and uh, I'll come back to you. Right, I think I found the resolution. Uh, I actually did find another YouTube channel, which I'll link below, uh, which gives me the information. So, if I turn the machine off... Basically, what it is, that there's an issue with the clash between the SD card hardware 
and obviously the uh, microdrive it works on a, I believe similar channel or similar IRQ or something similar to that. Anyway, the YouTube channel I, I was looking at uh, said to do it on the Plus 2, but I'm going to do it on the 48K. Um, so, oops, I think I've accidentally started it. So, my mistake. So, press that to enter. Now, basically, the, the way the Spectrum works has different personalities and whatever. Is that Spectrum Next? And I think the default is usually to go into a Spectrum Next configuration. And that tent is generally mostly compatible with most things. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 48K instead. So, just turn Div MMC off, which is the, uh, obviously, the uh, SS, SS, SSD? SD card. So, in that, and press enter. Now, it doesn't work out of the box. Over to run, still nothing there. Uh, so, what I need to do is now do the, a couple of commands. Uh, out, and then 9, 2, uh, 7, 5. Comma one two eight. And, uh, <clears throat> out. Oops. What this command does is actually uh, enables the uh, bus expansion bus. So. So, if I do, I won't do run again this time because I know that didn't seem to work last time, but I'll do a catalog because I remember the command, cat1. If I do list, oh no, if I do load, sorry. I can list the game, or list the listing, run it, and there you go, um, it works. So yeah, uh, that's a quick answer. You can use a ZX Micro uh, Drive on the Spectrum Next. Yeah, whether it, uh, you want to or not, I don't know, but uh, let's, let's turn the power thing off. Power it back on. And hopefully, because I've set it to be the uh, the normal 48K Spectrum personality, yeah, it loads straight up into that. So let's just try run again this time. No, it's a, yeah, it's a bit frustrating. You have to uh, uh, run that out command every time you want to use it. So uh, yeah, it, it's handy if you want to have a quick look at something um, or if you just want to quickly maybe load something and possibly even grab a snapshot. I'm not sure if you can do that yet, or, uh, but it's some, yeah, possibly worth a try. Um, but yeah, it works. Yeah, it does work. You just have to have a couple of fiddly commands to get it working. Um, whether you could load those up from um, a different source, because I say, uh, if, you, if you're disabling the uh, SSD, or sorry, the SD card, then, you know, if you had like a BAS file or whatever, you could load it, but obviously you can't because you've disabled the interface it's coming from. But it, there you go. It's uh, proof that it does work, and obviously it is hardware compatible. You just have to uh, turn one or two things off and on. Hi, and uh, thank you for watching uh, Steve's Retro Loft. Um, as you can see, it worked, uh, a little bit fiddly. Um, yeah, and you have to ask yourself, would you want to go through that to actually use microdrives? Well, the good thing about the Spectrum Next is it's got uh, SSD, or sorry, SD card built into it, um, and also effectively a div MMC. So yeah, the, the advantages of a microdrive is obviously loading games faster, um, and yeah, storing more things on one cartridge. Um, and that's all been negated by the fact it's all built into the next. So yeah, should you use it? It's up to you. I personally wouldn't. It's nice to know it does work. Um, and also it's highlighted how rubbish most of my microdrive cartridges are. Um, I do need to get some felts, as I've mentioned previously, um, but whether, yeah, wherever I can find some, uh, I don't know yet. There are plenty of places out there that does this. It's just, it's just getting around, um, getting time to actually do it and whatever. And it's one of those things that's sort of low down on the list of things I need to do. So uh, anyway, 
there we go. Um, stunning conclusion. But that's all for today. And yeah, and I'd say, like, I'd say a big thank you to everybody that's actually on my new recent subscribers. It's gone crazy since my my first Spectrum Next video which is close to 10,000 views now for me is just phenomenal anyway if you do you know like what i do please you know like comment and subscribe and equally if you don't like what i do let me know let me know in the comments and yeah you know, what i can do to improve it anyway thank you again for watching and i hope to see you again soon okay bye bye